Hi, Performance Reviews, where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today we're going to talk about the cleaning contest that happened at the Vacuum Collectors Convention. Now, I'm going to show you just kind of one round and how it went and how they were judging it. I'm going to show the official winner, and then we're going to break down what actually was picked up by weighing the vacuum bags. Again, which is not the most scientific way, but there's really no science going on in this video, especially when a lesser powerful vacuum is being used to judge what more powerful machines left behind. And to give you an idea, that Kirby has about a quarter to one third the suction of any of the machines that were used. A lot of you are going to point out that it has a high CFM rate, which is true, but when we're extracting sand and fine stuff like this from carpet, uh, your working vacuum and your sealed vacuum are the more important metric in this particular case. Now it's a mixture of SIBO Duo carpet powder, and some other carpet fresh stuff, if you're wondering what the dust is. It's time, two minutes. Yeah. Super now, Stefan, you understand you can vacuum in any direction, oh, yeah. yeah. front, back, side, yeah. just within that black perimeter from the side. Yeah. Which machine are you going to use? Yeah. 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 He's using an electric oh, yeah. We're just going to move. Three, two, one, go. I'm sorry, Adam. Can you see this? Now, the results were only weighed once. I would later find out by playing with the scale that it's not a very accurate scale, so you would at least need to do averages here. Again, this is using a less powerful vacuum to see what a more powerful vacuum left behind. Unfortunately, these tests leave more questions than answers. However, I would like to see it with a SIBO dirt meter and see what the results would be with a more powerful vacuum. We're about to announce the winner of the 15th Annual Vacuum Collectors Group Cleaning Company. Well, can I say something before we do that? Absolutely. I think we should give an award to our hosts that have generously opened their home, their vacuum store, gave their time, they're feeding us lunch today. We don't have a ribbon to give them, but we can give them a nice round of applause. <laughs> Clarity of names, Tom and Donnie. <laughs> so the winner was. I bet it was Robert's Perfect. It was the Robert. Perfect. See? Yes, Robert Cloud. Perfect commercial, which came back with eight ounces. That was the lowest. Eight then grams. It, eight grams, I'm sorry. Eight grams. We measured in grams. And then there was a three way tie at nine, which was Alex with the Bosch GL, Alan with the Eureka, the Coral one, the 550A. And where's my other nine? The Reggie with the Henry. The Henry. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So those three tied for second place. Then the rest were pretty much between 10 and 15. What was the worst? The worst was a tie between the 800 Eureka, Michael B., and the Electrolux Super J, which was Stefan. Stefan. And that one was I'm 24 surprised. and one was 25. Is that that Super J? That's amazing. So I'm surprised. It, was, it wasn't a tie. The, app, the one that was absolutely... <laughs> left the most dirt was the Super J, but it was at 25. Wow. And we did that twice because we weren't sure if we'd done it right, so we wanted to make sure Stefan had an, uh, a fair opportunity. And wow. uh, then Michael B was at the, if anybody wants to see these, they're over here with the names, awesome. right. Well, congratulations to Robert Cloud, who won $100. Yeah. 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 Well, I would have given him a hundred dollar gift to Walmart, but I haven't gone over there yet. So I'm going to give him a hundred dollars and buy his own game. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is not an official part of the competition, but I wanted to see what the bags and the machines weighed versus a new bag. So we're going to go through and weigh each one of these. We have a Perfect, the Bosch, the Mila, the Henry, and that Eureka. So we're going to see what they weighed before and after for the results. First up, the Perfect bag. 
We're gonna do this. We're gonna tear that out. Let's see how much the perfect bag picked up. There's nine grams inside the perfect bag. Tear it again. Tear that. See how much the Bosch picked up. We have 11 grams inside the Bosch. Maybe 10. Let's do the Mila now. We have eight grams inside the Mila. Let's see what the Henry. All right. The Henry had 11 grams, 10 grams. Hmm. Now let's see the Eureka. This is gonna be the more difficult one to weigh. All right. I do not believe this scale to be very accurate. The Eureka had six grams inside the bag. So what did we learn today? Well, the answer is scientifically nothing. We didn't have a control. We didn't have a good enough rug and as many examples as we would need to do anything scientific here. But we did learn that weighing the results this way is different and that's about it. We also learned that the digital scale is inconsistent. I had to reweigh everything again uh, and it, the results are a little different. The weight percentages are the same after I did the math. So that's, that's what's happened. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and share it.